Very good morning to all of you children. Today we are going to learn about the atmosphere. Atmos means air. The layer of air that surrounds the earth is called the atmosphere. The atmosphere is made up of a number of gases such as nitrogen, oxygen and other gases like carbon dioxide and argon. Nitrogen is the most abundant gas present in the atmosphere. 78% of the air is nitrogen. The next abundant gas is oxygen which is about 21% of the air. The remaining 1% of the gases present in the atmosphere consist of carbon dioxide and other gases. Some amount of water vapor and dust particles are also present in the atmosphere. The atmosphere makes life on the earth possible. All human beings, animals and plants need air to breathe. Oxygen is an important gas. Oxygen is called the breath of life because it is very necessary for breathing. Do you know why mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders while climbing high mountains? Well, as we go up, the quantity of oxygen goes on decreasing. Breathing becomes very difficult. That is why the mountaineers carry oxygen cylinders on their backs while climbing high mountains. Is that clear? The astronauts also carry oxygen cylinders for the same reason. Atmosphere or air is thicker near the ground and it becomes thinner when we go up. That means even oxygen becomes lesser as we go higher. Oxygen helps in the burning activity. Let's learn about the layers of the atmosphere. The lowest layer of the atmosphere is known as the troposphere. This layer contains the air we breathe. We live in this layer. Above the troposphere lies the stratosphere, then mesosphere, followed by thermosphere and exosphere. Is that clear? Is there any boundary separating one layer from the other? No, there is no clear boundary children. It's only according to its characteristics that we separate one layer from the other. There is differences in composition of the atmosphere. The temperature varies from one layer to another. Density of the atmosphere also varies. Importance 
of the atmosphere. The oxygen in the atmosphere is essential to humans for breathing. Plants require carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Water vapor in the atmosphere is responsible for various forms of precipitation. Water vapor present in the atmosphere controls the temperature of a place and also helps in the formation of rainfall. The atmosphere acts like a blanket for the earth. It receives the radiation of the sun but does not allow the heat to escape into space. As such, it keeps the earth warm. Let me explain this to you. The atmosphere is like a blanket. Is it clear? You know it receives the heat energy of the sun, but does not allow the heat to escape and so keeps the earth warm. It protects us from the harmful solar radiation. The water vapor and carbon dioxide present in the lower layers of the atmosphere absorb the heat radiated by the earth's surface and keep the atmosphere warm even during night. Okay, let me explain this. During the daytime, the rays of the sun heats up the earth's surface. At night, the earth gives back the heat. This heat is absorbed by water vapor and carbon dioxide present in the lower layers of the atmosphere and keeps the atmosphere warm during night. Okay, now you know why it is not too cold for us during night. Correct? Now, the next one. Air carries sound waves. It's the air which carries sound waves. This lets us hear voices or listen to the music or any sound. So, atmosphere is very important for listening. Life on the earth is possible because of the atmosphere. Thank you children. Hope you have understood this. Okay. Have a nice day.